Hello and welcome everybody here in Crusader Kings 2. I'm one proud Bavarian and we are back in Italy. But let me point out the worst thing that has happened on this entire map so far. You've probably already seen it. <laughs> oh, how dare you. Holy Roman Empire, this is too much. This is too much even for me and I now am even more convinced that we must rebel against the HRE. So, what kind of position are we in? We are incredibly powerful, we hold a lot of land, be it north or southbound. I think what is primarily important is that we shut them out in the center. Uh, getting that done though, quite a bit difficult. We do have a marriage now with the Burman uh, dynasty. I believe our heir is actually married to her. Yes, there you go. Nice. So, we do have a very strong alliance with Bohemia. And they will keep it that way. And I will also form an alliance with our good old aunt, Regina Genovefa, that we just put on the throne of France. Now, if we could unite France and Aquitaine under our dynasty, that is the dream. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's not very likely. I don't think it's going to happen because once they split in any playthrough, they are usually split forever. Also, I did see that I can call in council support here. Uh -huh. Ask to join factions. Oh, I mean, we have a faction going on, don't we? Independence. I don't think the time is here yet, though. If I could unite the different... If I could unite all of you... If I could buy these favors... Here, look. I don't need to be the supreme overlord of Italy to cause a rebellion, right? I think that is the way I, uh, I see it myself. I would love to be the king of Lombardia, and I was thinking about modding in... Uh, succession here that is quite interesting because right now we are the tennis street right tennis street allows everyone including the barons a vote you can see that right here so everybody even the lords of the cities and uh, you know i don't know the churches uh, get their own vote i think that's kind of cool that that is something that i would really love to do why do you hate him by the way encroaching foreign ruler is he i'm voting for him right who am i voting for yeah why is he Really? Well, anyway, what matters is I would love to have that, but for elective. So that in the elective system, there's not just the dukes that vote, you know, but there's everyone that votes, even the barons. And that would be pretty cool. Because it essentially means that you have a very open-minded confederation. Probably the closest thing that we can simulate here to the Lombard League, historically speaking. So I don't want to conquer them necessarily. You know, if they just joined my factions and became rebels, I would also be okay with it. Not that that is very likely, seeing as we can't even get them to join my faction. Yeah, none of them, I mean, especially not you, but none of them really wants to sell me their favor. What can I say about that? You know, it is it is what it is. It's not entirely uh, unlikely here. But the way I see what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and persuade you. Wait, should, could I change anything here that would be meaningful? No. I'm going to persuade you just to build some pressure against the HRE. I'm going to ask you to join all of my factions. And then we're going to take a look at this. I will, of course, also have to give away Venezia. And sure, let's give it back to the people. Just not to the people that ruled before we came. Armando, I'm going to give you Venezia. And you shall feel quite happy about it. At least I hope so. There you go. He is now a bullcraft, So he's now a leader of the city there. And nothing much changes. What is this? Yes, I will vote with you, my friend. And now he does owe me a favor, which I'm a big fan of. Did he join me? I do not believe he did. No, he totally did. There you go. So that builds up at least some pressure. I will also, and I noticed this beforehand, but I will also have to remarry because we just can't really keep this going. And I don't think he was really in love with her. I don't, he, I don't think he cared for her. So as long as he has somebody that makes the, you know, his rules seem whole and properly conducted, I think he's fine with it. What we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna go ahead and marry Dora. She is a family member of the people that held Ferrara. Who holds this now? Why is it this different dynasty? Do you have a claim on it, my dear new wife? Where did she go? No, not, 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 I did not mean that. Oh, she does hold a claim on it. Oh, baby, this is the spirit. Arrange a marriage. Hello and welcome, everyone. We are now also allies with Franz, which I'm a big, big fan of. Um, I think I'm going to make it so that people like our lord less. 
We are in the Tradition faction, incredibly powerful, currently we are friendly towards him. I will steer discontent towards Kaiser Heinrich. Announce him before the assembled lords. Ugh. Speaking to the assembled lords, I denounced the misrule of Kaiser Heinrich and reminded my fellow vassals of how our rights and liberties were being taken away. Unfortunately, it seems many took offense at my words and suggested I went too far. And Kaiser Heinrich gained sympathy as a result. Well, that's a shame. But what can you do? Sometimes, you know, that's just the way it is. I will also, by the way, dissolve all of these, of course. Damn, I love how big our retinue is. That's just crazy. Could I get another claim on something meaningful? If that was possible, I mean, you know, I wouldn't complain about it, were you? So what do we have here? Grafschaft Casentino. I don't even know what it is. Nice music. Oh, okay. It is in Sardinia. Well, I mean, I kind of just want to eat my way through Sardinia. There's a lot to take here, but if they kept all of this, I would be okay with it. I just want everything north of it. So that is kind of primarily what I'm focused on. Could you show me... What exactly is this? So you are the Lord of Modena. Could I request a claim on Modena? No. Base reluctance and acceptance score. We're almost there, honestly. We're fairly close. Could I excommunicate him? No. Mm. Hey, Pope man. How'd you like it if I uh, give you some money? My indulgence for my sins. That sounds about right. Holy Father has granted us absolution. Glory to God. Absolutely. Thanks for the glory, God. Alright, here we go. Let's take a look at this again. Not even close. Yeah, not even close. We would need something significant that makes us a more pious man. Now, we are a crusader, and that's good and all. Wait a minute. Let me just check. Just for the record, right? When did this crusade take place? 1104, so 10 years passed. Another 20 have to pass for another crusade to even be an option. Mm, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff for sure. But I'll be real with you. I'm not sure how to proceed here. I, you know, after this marriage broke down, he really started hating us. But the way I see it, I, I need to ask a question. Yeah, they did not. This is such a shame. So because she died too early, her potential claim on Milano never passed to our common children, meaning that we have nothing. We straight up have nothing to use here against them. Ah, man, I was really kind of counting on that. I will admit it, you know. You gotta be honest. And and that is definitely something that I was looking forward to here. Uh, forward to here. Could I get a claim for you? No. Okay, let's take another look at the claims yet again. We made him like us more. Maybe there's something that we can actually deal with. Nordgau, Schlesien, Brabant. Um, Montbelliard? No. Maybe it is actually Logodoro. But Logodoro is just one county. And I don't think that is worth it. <clears throat> also, my... Sorry, I had to mute myself there. My voice was legitimately dying. Rovigo. Where the hell is Rovigo? Oh, that's kind of cool. I want to claim on that anyway. I might as well lay claim to it, yeah. Sure. Thanks for the claim, nerds. I'm coming for you. Alright, where should you be next? Probably in Brescia. Just give me a claim on it. If you could give me a claim on the entire Duchy of Milano, that would also be great, but I doubt it. Your, requ uh, your request has been granted. Very nice. Very, very nice and very thoughtful, frankly. I shall claim Rovigo. Why is France... Why does France not show up in this list? We are allies, right? Yes. She is defending in a war that she's currently losing for Dijon, so it's only one province. Mm, I could offer her to join that war. Not that I would really be of any help, but even then, I mean, you know, helping her is a good thing. It is family, after all. And I think she got this primarily. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to declare war against, it was you, I believe, there you go. Declare war, claim Rovigo, and off we go. I might even honestly want to call in the Bohemians. They do like me, just in general, you know. So I think there's nothing wrong with that, really. Come on, I need you to go over there. Thank you. Thinking about it, I probably did not have to call them in. But here we are. You know, I'm not going to complain about it. Of course I will honor my obligation. God bless. I will aid France ASAP, by the way, just to make that clear. 
But I need to clean up our own house before we can do anything else, don't we? What is the HRE going to war for? Oh, in the north! Reconquest of Mazovian, so... They appear to be going for Eastern Poland, or modern day Eastern Poland, I guess. Uh, at the time, it even then it was Eastern Poland, alright, I see. Yeah. You know, that makes a lot of sense. He wants to clean up his borders. As much as I despise the Polish being under the HRE, you know, if he wants to clean that up, that's okay. Ooh, my beloved wife Dora is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she's heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. Hmm. What is less likely for him? Yeah, that's the question, because he is a cruel person. How does he feel about her? You know what? Fairly okay, actually. She grooms him as herself. You know, maybe he has respect for that. He did fall for uh, bodily temptations earlier when he uh, eloped with Gräfin Calliope. So maybe there is a chance here that he actually views this. And I think this plot is absolutely unlikely to ever happen. Maybe there's a chance here that he is on the side of his wife. You know, and in this case just says, you know what? Buy it. I will grant you this because... You are very attractive to me. He is a very primal person, I think. After his experiences down south in Jerusalem, he has come to terms with reality being very mediocre. And him having to kind of do his own thing to be happy in life. So I think, yeah, you know what? He's going to become charitable. And being charitable might even give us a little hand here in terms of actually eradicating any pressure by the Pope, because he does dislike us, because we constantly call for- oh. Really? Is that right? I didn't even notice the anti-Pope. Can I dispose him uh, from inside the realm, I wonder? No, we do not have a CB. Well, there's an anti-Pope, and it looks like we cannot do anything about it. I will not have my children be Frankish Canadian. Uh, I have received the regrettable news that Spy Master Balasara has experienced a setback in his search for the artifact by spending a considerable amount of time following a wrong lead. He assures me he will redouble his efforts. Well, he better, because he wouldn't like what would happen otherwise. There you go, Rovigo has been sieged down. I will go north, I, I promise. I will defeat the enemies. Oh, the French are winning all on their own. They are torn down, practically speaking, but even then, they're winning. Oh, an Ireland. Ireland is kind of uniting itself, isn't it? What do I do with you, Fiametta? Do I do anything with you? Is Ireland the best option here? That is, honestly, that is, in my opinion, the most important thing I could be asking here. And it might be the best option. Metrolinearly speaking, we got absolutely nothing. So you know what? You're going to Ireland. Adri Murshad II of Tara. Sure. Off you go. Alright, that is definitely a one fight right there. Graf Grosso expresses, his, uh, Gosso expresses his wishes to have a seat on the council. His contribution to the realm is significant. Why does he hate me so much? What is our history? The main too big, fired from council, declared unjust war. One seat on the council, desires the Herzog Tomo Spoleto. I don't know if I should grant that to him. Look, this is what I can definitely grant to him. Mm. But other than that, I mean, you know what? We don't need you. You're 50 anyway. I'm gonna be out of the picture in a bit. Don't worry too much about it. But it does look like France has their thing under control. Now, I will go there and clean up everything that I can find uh, up north. But, you know, for right now, let's just finish Italy down here. And that's a 94%. That battle should clean it up. There you go. 100%. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a great deal. And... God bless my new property. <laughs> Alright, I have to give that away as well. Um, do I have a family member that I could give that to? You know I love giving it away to family members. He's six years old. I think I can still no doubt give it to him without, you know, any sort of regret. I love giving it out to the kids. Because it is just fair, isn't it? It is entirely fair. I know we are tenistry and everything. I don't need to do this. I could keep everything that I could. But I'll be real with you, I love my family. I'm gonna take care of the family whenever I can, and uh, in any circumstance that I can, so don't sweat it. You never forget it. Alright, I will bring him up, of course. The glory faction of Verona is now hostile. Oh no, 52%, huh? Why do you hate me so much, my friend? Uh, what I will do, by the way, actually, now that I said that, I forgot what I wanted to do. 
Oh, that's right. I wanted to buy some favors. Thank you very much. I respect you a great deal for selling me these favors, my friends. Oh, that's an expensive favor, but we still have so much money from the crusade left over. By the looks of it, you know exactly what's going to happen here. I still will have this money when the next crusade happens, meaning that we will literally never run out of money because the crusades come so frequently that I will be looking at it and just say, all right, well, here we go again. Give me, or should I say, ah, shit, here we go again. Um, Because it will just end up pretty much with me, you know, getting an insane amount of money yet again. So I have no regrets. All right, let's take Dijon from these fools. Being on your leader's council is not always easy. You have a huge amount of work that needs attention, and there's so much to do. The list seems endless. Just as you're about to give up, Prince Arch uh, Archbishop Walter steps through the door and asks if you want any help. As tempting as it may be, you would be in his debt for, uh, for it. I mean, I have nothing against him, technically speaking. Hmm. Sure. Aid me, my friend. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not an enemy occupation at all. Alright, let's siege them down then. Let's get them done. We need Genoveva to show strength. To show something that clearly kind of, you know, stipulates her right to the crown. Why is he... Oh, because he's a son. Unfortunate, he's only one. Meaning that if he were to rule, that would be not just unstable, practically impossible to sustain. At least in my opinion. But France being under our family is a very important thing that we need to take care of and sustain. Uh, Albina Faliero, Faliero being a dynasty that we at some point imprisoned, they were, ah, the ruling family of Venice. Well, know how it is. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Emperor of the Romans, yet again, somebody, some fool has been crowned. You shall be educate, uh, educated in etiquette, sure. This is what I'm here for. Ah, we have a new pope, meaning that I could and should 100% ask for a new claim. I mean, that's what we're here, isn't it? I need a claim on the Herzog of Massa or Ferrara. Show me. So we have Siena, Pisa. Ah, Massa. Oh, Ferrara. Is that right? Wait, what? Oh, are you... Wait, what? Where the hell is Ferrara? Am I blind? I must be... I, I remember it, though, from... Uh, <laughs> from EO4. I remember seeing Ferrara somewhere around here. But I can't... I can't see it. Alright, show it to me. Oh, this one. Don't I already control that entirely? I thought I did. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't need the claim on that. That's just ridiculous. Could have theoretically, uh... What does that even mean? What do you mean, revoke? Can't revoke it. Why can't I usurp it? Can I not usurp it within the HRE? Maybe. Uh, but it looks like this kid, just in general, has kind of lost the favor of the Pope. And getting this as a claim would be pretty neat. Although, of course, I would rather, much rather, if you ask me, get some claims on the primary belongings here. For example, what about Firenze? Would not grant it to us. We are so close, though. Dude, we are so damn close. I need to, to... I need you to like me. You know what? Take the money, my man, and then I'll buy a favor, I guess? I don't know if the favor even does anything. I don't think so. <laughs> Does the favor do anything? Can I get a claim on the kingdom, please? I don't think I don't even think he would do that. Like I don't think that works that way. Right, we have you request a claim. He still wouldn't do it. Still a minus ten. Battle of Rougemont. Right, we did destroy them there. All right, this war's over. I mean, that's pretty good. We have a favor to ask from the Pope, which is nice. I sold me out with his concerns regarding the search of the relic. Baldassar has asked me to issue a decree allowing his treasure hunters to appropriate the resources and men they need from the local burghers. Sure. No, this is not America. There is no freedom for, uh, for burghers. Who imprisoned you? Dainava? Oh, he was... Really? He was... Oh my god! 
The ITRE is dead. Oh, that's quite significant, don't you think? We could go for independence, but with the with the territory that we own, that's so pointless. Like, Boom and Poland having independence would be nice, but if we at least got Sardinia in our faction as well, but they will never join our faction. Under no circumstances will they ever join our faction, that is an issue. So, unless I hold at least like this part, additionally to what we already hold, I'm not gonna go for independence. And I love Bohemia doing what they do, okay? But I don't think there's any point in going for independence there if it just means most of Italy still stays in the HRE. That's just kind of strange if you ask me. Hmm. Can't hold a meeting. I need to I need to talk to the Pope here. This is Anna, you know, we're so close to actually making something happen. And I say it far too often. Let's not kid ourselves. We all know it. We all appreciate it for what it is, which is just me talking nonsense. But I need the I need the claims. I really do. At least one of them. I wish I could do something with a goddamn uh, with everything. I mean, you know, with a favor that I own. Why does the king own that directly? I wonder. All right. You know what? Just tell me what I can request a claim, or what about that, huh? Don't want any Polish land, thank you very much, though. Uh, this land, Massa, is kind of interesting, I suppose, but not entirely. Corsica, maybe. Lombardo? Malvicini. But he's just, oh, he's just a Graf, though. Oh, wait, Graf in this case means... No, okay, it doesn't, sorry. I, th I was thinking, does that mean... Duchy? I don't think it does. I see no evidence for it. What I'm thinking about is maybe Corsica actually? You think so? Because if we do get Corsica, we have uh, kind of an easy way in on Sardinia. Who holds Sardinia itself? Probably the king, yeah, indeed. Minus 73. Good lord. Piety crowned by the Pope. And the opinion is very high between the Pope and this madman of a king. Hmm. I think we're gonna take the claim on Massa. I wanna continue claiming the north here. I can't claim Milan, alright? Yeah, I can't. Not even close. Alright, you know what, kid? This is my land now. That's a tomb of Massa. That's what I believe I want. Yes. Thank you. Alright, and that shall be the second war of this episode. At least I don't believe that I have a truce with him, right? Let's see just down and then we go south and deal with everything that needs to be dealt with. He's raising new troops now that for some reason the Bavarians are rising up. Von Wittelsbach even. The actual Von Wittelsbach dynasty is making a big mistake down there. Why? You know what? I couldn't tell you. Nobody can. What do you want? Uh, claim... No, I, I will not help you with that. Are you crazy? I have bigger things to do than that. Being on a leader's council is not always easy. Right, sure. I will owe you a favor. That's okay. I don't think... I don't think we, as a character or as a player, care for owing favors in the German council. Who cares for it? I certainly do not. Claim Massa. That's what I'm here for, boys. Don't need to call in the Bohemians this time. Alright, go beat him up, boys. Uh, this is a death sentence, but you know what? I'm still gonna send them all there. Try to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover the plot to fabricate on the claim... Uh, a claim on the Herzogtum Atri. Expose him immediately and imprison him. If he rebels, I shall get him. Oh yeah, what is his Imperial Decay? Ooh, 17%. Alright, look. Here's the deal, buddy. I will imprison you. And if you rebel, I will destroy you. That's as easy as it gets. I mean, it's not that difficult to think about. I'm sure you can understand it. Battle of Albay. Doesn't matter. When did it ever matter? Right, France won that war. Big fan of that. Huge fan of that. Oh, get out of here. I will not win this then. 43%. Maybe, I don't know, I doubt it. I I highly doubt it. You should be aware that Fogan Antonio of Pisa recently came to Liege, uh, attempting pers to persuade me to join his faction. I don't really care for it, I'll admit. 
I will hold a faction meeting though. If I could ask the Kaiser not to do this, wouldn't that be gorgeous? Prevent realm peace. Must owe us a favor. We do not. Got to kidnap. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. We're definitely not going to get that one through then. As the faction members gathered in Verona, a murmur of discontent spread. My attempts to address the faction were met with jeers and jibes, and it soon became clear that my leadership of the faction was being challenged through a vote of no confidence. No surprise, seeing as we were unsuccessfully rallying against the Kaiser last time. I fear no vote. You can't vote me out. I have been usurped. Well, all right. <laughs> Uh, we have some... Look at this. The Kaiser himself? How did the Kaiser get to vote in that? Are you joking? I'm serious. How did he get to vote in that? Does he get to vote in that? Maybe he does. How would I know, right? Alright, how many days? In six months. Six months is actually pretty far away if you think about it. Can't stop thinking of all these prisoners? Of course. We must continue. The artifact is of great importance. You want me to call in against Brittany? No, this is actually an Englishman in Brittany. No, a Breton under England. I will accept, of course. Deliver him to my dungeons. Yeah, we will not do this in time. And that is a big issue if you ask me. Hmm. Man. Three months. I don't think that's possible. Is it? 78%? I lost one siege somewhere else, who cares? What's this, 60 days? I mean, let's try to siege as much, uh, as much as we can. And the Knights Templar exists now. Very nice. Yeah, the peace is there. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. You know what? Try to kidnap this man. And suddenly I can't do it anymore, well... I'll be back for that, let me tell you, I'll be back for that. During a particularly heated argument in the council, Herzog Ezekiel stepped in as you were about to make a fool of yourself. He was able to argue for your point, not only saving your face, but also winning the argument for you. It's obvious that Ezekiel's uh, smooth talking was the sole reason for his success, and denying that fact would likely paint you in a bad light. I don't think he would, uh, I don't think he would, uh, oh, he's humble, I guess. Thank you, eh? Do truly owe you in return, sure. I don't see why not, you know, we can owe these people all as much as, as you know, we want, it doesn't really matter. Becca plot to kill the Kaiser, who are you? Just a random woman? I don't deal with random women, are you crazy? There you go, I'm gonna bring you up in that. We are in a really good spot, but I'm telling you straight up, I did not get to do this episode what I wanted to do this episode. I need to definitely, you know, get some hegemony going over the north here. Milano, Savoy, Massa. We already almost had Massa, but only almost. And then we have Ravenna. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if we get Ra uh, Ravenna and Urbino under our control in some way as well, then we would be looking at a wonderful position. But as of right now, it doesn't look extraordinarily likely that that is going to be soon. I think we have to plan for the future against those that oppose us primarily the germans but also of course still sardinia if i get some sweet sweet ass claims on sardinia i would be so so happy and you know what i want to kick you out for baldo baldo can get me uh you know what didn't mean to do that well baldo that's your mission now i guess i will see you in the next episode thank you so much for tuning in and later alligator what are you at war with here oh wait i'm helping you in that i remember all right later